Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our blind let's play. It's the Tony Investigation 2, Miles Edge with the Prosecutor's Path. My name is Fletcher's Bird. This is Story of Channel. And today, we're at the Grand Plaza looking, looking for, we're looking for a young man, aren't we? Uh, Mr. John Marsh, because he apparently has been kidnapped. And, uh, revelations were abound in the last episode. So, if you missed the last part, definitely go check it out. But for now, here we are, the see the crime. Let's get to work. I couldn't have said it better myself, Kay. Let's do this. Now, say it with me, Miss Edgeworth. Hmm, say what? Even in the depths of night. Ah, uh... oh, come on. <laughs> You are all having a wonderful day, and if not, K is here to cheer you up. Oh, come on, say the rest with me. And just why should I do that? Because the great thief Yatagatsu has arrived on the scene. If we don't send the introduction, it just doesn't feel right. I have no intention of becoming a thief. Arg, fine then, I'll do it by myself. Even in the depths of night, when no other bird dares to take flight, one alone, source to shine, the light of righteousness on the world's blight. And that one is me, for I am the great thief, Yatakaratsu. Yes, Kay, I know you are. I, on the other hand, am starting the investigation. <laughs> they don't, you know, fun. We don't have time for fun. We only have until two o'clock. We need to begin making inquiries immediately. That's right, we need to find John Marsh, and we also need to find the murder weapon, right? Uh, the one that was mysteriously vanished. And the court case that's going on right now. Good thing we have a photo, so we can go right ahead and start asking around. But, first thing is first, we definitely have to find John Marsh. Uh, because his life is on the line. Yeah, what's up? Uh, do you notice anything? To think that Miss Courtney is actually a kind and dirty mother to her son? I never would have guessed it from how she normally acts. Indeed. In order to fulfill her role as a judge, she had to conceal her true feelings behind that facade. And apparently she also had to make it so that, um, uh, John and her aren't... Like, how does... I, I'm still wondering why he goes by John Marsh. I mean, that could just be... It, it could be nothing. Well, let's not worry about it, really. Let's not worry about it. She had to conceal her two feelings behind that facade. Although John is a bit of a brat, I can't bear to see Miss Courtney looking so sad. We definitely have to steal John Marsh back for Miss Courtney's sake. I agree. I totally agree. The kidnapping. To think that John had been kidnapped and was being held hostage all this time. That explains why we weren't able to find him anywhere. The last time we saw him was at the film set. We should start by gathering information over there. The kidnappers may have left some clues behind. Let's examine everything, even if it seems totally unrelated. Yeah, I agree. Let's do it. Okay, where are we starting? Do I know you? Oh my god! Look who it is! Uh, long time no see, Mr. Edgeworth. You're still Samurai. This is Will Powers. He is an action star I met in a previous case. He also played the role of the Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo Old Tokyo, my hero. It's been a long time. Pleased to meet you. I am Kate Faraday, a great thief. Some stuff has happened, so now Mr. Edgeworth is my assistant. Uh, it's nice to meet you, but, uh, thief? And Mr. Edgeworth is your assistant? Please, pay no heed. More importantly, I'd like to ask you some questions about the case. Uh, okay. 
I don't know if I'll be much help, though. Hmm. He's an actor who has been working with John. It may be a bit sudden, but let's hear what he has to say. About the case. Go ahead. Heard that you're handling the investigation for this case, but... Hmm. Well, that's... I'm not the prosecutor in charge, though. But if you're the assistant, well, then does that mean that, uh, K is in charge? No, this is just a simple miss. You've got a good eye on you. You're completely right. Oh, my God. Uh, she jumped at the chance. Since I'm in charge here, I'd like you to answer a few questions post-haste. And please, be frank. Did anything happen to catch your eye? Ergo, did you notice anything? Who is she trying to imitate? <laughs> uh, be frank, huh? Well, I feel sorry for the victim, but... I can't help but worry about what will happen with the filming from now on. No, that's only natural. Still, I would think that filming would be difficult now. I knew it. This is bad. We can only use this location for a little while longer, too. Is the filming almost complete, then? No, but, uh, construction will begin here soon. So we won't be able to film here anymore. We're only using this, uh, vacant lot until construction begins. So, the rest of the movie will be filmed at Global Studios. Oh, things aren't looking good. There's even some people uh, spreading bad rumors. Bad rumors? Well, lately, a journalist has been coming by repeatedly. She's been saying, Well, this film lies hiding a real monster, I reckon. <laughs> there ain't no use hiding it and uh, that stuff like that. I have a feeling I know who you're talking about. Yes, it was a photographer from before. You're not actually hiding a real monster, are you? Of course not. If there really was one, well, I'd, uh, I'd be out of a job. Oh my god, are you the, uh, are you the monster? Monster movie. It seems they're putting a lot of work into this movie. Well, that's because uh, this is our first attempt at making a sequel to an old classic. Global Studios is pouring their heart and soul into this one. I wish they put that much effort into making a new Steel Samurai series. <laughs> what role are you playing this time, Mr. Powers? Well, I'm playing the uh, Mighty Mozilla. Yep, thought so. Wow, you're the main character. Well, uh, I'm much obliged. I'm wearing a full body costume again, so my face uh, won't be seen this time either. Aw, poor guy. I see, that costume sure is cool though. I wanna try wearing it too. I wanna try wearing it, it looks awesome. I know, how about next time you let me get in the costume Maybe just the horn part. Well, that's, uh... Well, is that really possible? I mean, you can't get inside the, uh, horns. Well, I guess that makes sense. I'm not in the screen's actor's guild, after all. I don't think that's what he means. John Marsh. I would like to ask you some questions about John. About John? Ah. Uh. Oh, I heard about it from the, uh, the girl on staff. How he suddenly vanished from right in front of you guys. Well, that's just like him. Does he do that a lot? I say so. Uh, during filming breaks, if you would take your eyes off him for a moment, uh, he'd be gone. Do you have any idea as to where he might have gone? Uh, I don't know. But, uh... Well, I ran into uh, him as he was leaving the uh, film lot. 
What? Really? Where did John go? I, uh, saw him getting in the, uh, the trailer, but, uh, when I was checking the equipment, he was, uh, gone again. The trailer, huh? There might still be some traces of him left behind. Mr. Powers, could you show us the trailer? The sure thing. It's a bit of a miss right now, though. Let's take him up on his offer and examine the inside of the trailer. I don't want to yet. Like, can I not? That's good. Because I don't want to take him up on the offer yet. Because I want to explore the rest of the lot first. Or oh, we probably had to click on this. So let's not click on this. I also want to show him evidence. It's kind of one of those things where I don't know what's going to trigger the next scene. So I got to be careful. Pieces of film equipment have been placed here. Are you filming today? Uh, no. We had to stop filming for today. Well, since the box has disappeared. A box? What is he talking about? Well, yeah. There was some equipment in that box. I take my eyes off it for a few seconds, and then look what happens. So, there's a thief among us? Exactly what was stolen. Well, nothing much, actually. Just the box is uh, missing. We're missing with the trailer. Only the box itself was stolen. Okay, it's good that we got logic, because we're not going to be able to advance the, uh, the story until we put the logic together. So we kind of know where our trigger is. Why would someone steal a box? Personally, I would have taken the stuff inside. They probably wanted the box more than whatever was inside it. Did they plan to put something inside the box? Hmm. Okay, now that we know we should be clear, and I believe if we check the trailer, we go inside the trailer. Let's go ahead and present to him our information. Uh, who is this supposed to be? I might be able to help you if it has something to do with the acting or stunts, but, uh... I appreciate that. However, it has nothing to do with acting or stunts. Is it so? Well, that's too bad. He seems disappointed. Okay, now we know what the, uh... The line is that... There is no information. I, I don't think I have anything here. Except maybe the, uh... The movie prop things. Uh, that flyer. I'm like, I don't think I have anything here. And then I just kept talking because I realized I had something there. I thought about giving one to you, but it seems you already have one. Yes, however, a fictitious monster battling a fake Gordy is... How should I put it? It's a little far-fetched. Well, actually, I think so too. But uh, in the beginning... Trying to find the real Gordy from Gord Lake. There were plans to use footage of the real monster in the film. It seems the problems with the movie stem from before they even started filming. By the way, is uh this game's like is this story's theme based off an actual Godzilla movie? Like I'm not a Godzilla aficionado. I've seen the newer Godzillas with my mom because my mom loves monster movies. Uh, so, you know, I saw the newer Godzilla. I saw Kong vs. Godzilla. But I, I don't know if there's a monster that looks like a giant snake of some kind. So if you're an, if you, if you're an expert in Godzilla, I'd love to know. Oh, right. Uh, let's see. Um, photo. Uh, what can I say? Gives you a good sense of the film, like, doesn't it? The entire cast and crew are pumped up for this work, even more than usual. Despite all the hardships, and never without a smile, it's really a nice atmosphere. And now, this happened. Although, there is nothing I can do about the interruption of the filming. If I solve this case, they might be able to resume filming. In that case, there's only one thing for us to do. Nothing on the present Or the security camera Giant tower Uh, So uh, Mozilla's head is broken 
giant footprints for that to sit? Actually, quite a lot of money was spent on production costs. You could say that the fate of Global Studios rests entirely on the film's success. I'm sorry, but talking about such things when someone has just died. No, there's no need to worry. It is an undeniable fact that the film launch has been severely damaged. Global Studios also makes the Steel Samurai, right? Mr. Edgeworth, this is bad. If we don't resolve this case quickly, the Steel Samurai also may be gone for good. Ugh. I never thought I'd be under so much pressure. Well, this the original Mozilla. It was pretty popular over a decade ago. Well, this is the type that can record your voice, right? Yes. We were saved not too long ago thanks to its recording function. But uh, this doll only has one horn on it. Hmm, what do you mean? Well, there uh, should be a total of two horns attached. You know, uh, one on each side. But if it's from over ten years ago, well, I guess it's not surprising that it's uh, missing a horn. Is that so? I thought the doll had a nice design, even with the missing horn. But you're always so nitpicky when it comes to the design of the Steel Samurai. <laughs> hmm, she doesn't understand at all. That hero is special. Okay, so for Prince gives a similar response. A lot of testimony. Doesn't know. Okay, cool. Let's move on. We'll, we'll do the trailer definitely last. It appears to be a map of the area around the Grand Tower. Let's take a look. Okay. Um. So we have Sunset Avenue, Twilight Station. It's a really cool name considering Sun. Oh, look at the naming convention. That's really cool. Earl Bright, so Early Bright, Sunshine Harbor, Dawn Way, Sunset Avenue, Twilight Station, Donny Street. Uh, so unlike Silent Hill, which made its street names off Arthur's, um, Arthur's? Authors. <laughs> uh, this one makes it based off the sun. Dusk Waste. Prime? Not so sure about Prime Mall. Rising Sun, Sunshine Coliseum, and Grand Tower. These are like the two outliers and everything, right? Dust Waste Management, do they help you manage your wasteful spending? No, this is where the garbage trucks bring all the combustible waste they've collected. By the way, Kay, why are you so fidgety? It's nothing. More importantly, there's another waste center on the top right corner of the map. Since, since they're separate facilities, they probably handle different kinds of waste. Although, there does seem to be a lot of waste management facilities around here. Oh, oh, I think I know why. I bet they're always collecting garbage from dusk till dawn. Oh, that, that's that's clever. Why, were you so fidgety because you were waiting for a chance to say that? <laughs> I love you, Kay. You're awesome. This is the Grand Tower. It's where we are right now. It's a nice building, but I can't say I'm a fan. I can't blame her. It wouldn't be strange if she never wanted to set foot in the tower again. But Mr. Edgeworth, once we discover the truth and uh, completely solve this case, can we come here again just to sightsee? And we can bring uh, coming along with us too? Never letting the past hold you back and always looking forward. That's just like you. Unfortunately, Kay, we aren't quite finished here yet. There's still much left to solve. It's too early to be making plans for the future. Hmm, I guess so. Well then, let's hurry up and solve it. I never really cared much for that sort of thing. I heard that ultraviolet rays from the sun could cause burn marks on your skin. Okay, what in the world are you talking about? Are you a vampire? Come on, I'm talking about the Rise of Sun Park, of course. I'd like to bask in that sentiment. Well, I watch the sunrise in the park. Sunset, uh, sunrises are beautiful. The Sunshine Coliseum. 
It's a place where all sorts of special events are held. Oh, they're spelling this with, uh, Coliseum. They're spelling this with uh, an L-I-S instead of, a. Uh, I mean, there's two ways to spell the word Coliseum. It's always interesting to see, like, which one is which. I've always wanted to go to the World Thief Expo, but it was canceled this year. I heard that it's a huge event where all the greatest thieves from around the world gather. But last year, everyone who went got arrested. Turns out it was just a trap set by the police to catch the thieves. <laughs> and even knowing that, you still want to go. That is really clever, the police. Hmm, it seems the harbor and the waste center are quite close to each other. Maybe that's where they dispose of all the garbage that comes floating in from the ocean? Perhaps they do. But I'm sure they also deal with other types of waste as well. Other types of waste? Ah, you don't mean shells, it's fish bones, do you? You can't just throw away the fish and shells you catch from the sea like garbage. You ought to recycle them, make them into jewelry and stuff. Okay, let's talk about this matter some other time. Alright. Hey, buddy, what's wrong? Your face looks so serious. Have you picked up any passengers here today? Oh, I sure did, but it was only one group. What did they look like? That ah, was a pair of men. They both were wearing black. Did you happen to see a small boy with them? Here's a picture of them. Uh, nope. It was just the two guys. I understand. Thank you for your cooperation. I was hoping he would have some more information for us, but I guess not. Two men wore black and rode in a taxi. Thank you for your hard work, Puskard Edgeworth. Hmm, I'm not a Puskarder at the moment, but I'll keep quiet about that for now. Thank you. What are you doing here? Sir, I'm on guard duty. Then, could you tell me about the guards that have passed through here today? The only ones that came through here were, the ca were that taxi and that blue truck. So, two different vehicles came through this place. This is valuable information. Let's go explore the truck, shall we? Hey, John! Hmm, guess he's not here. This basket looked pretty suspicious to me, but... It certainly does. Hmm. Huh? What's wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Why are you touching the truck? The truck's body is cold to the touch. It seems to have been parked here for some time. You can figure all that out just by touching it? Considering the length of time it's been parked here, the driver must not be nearby. I suppose we won't be able to ask them any questions until they return. Blue truck data. Okay. Driver's not inside. Anything else here? Looks like we just had to click on the man. About John's seat. Uh, it's over there with a big pick of seating. Hmm. Something is sticking out of the bag. This is a uh, tape? Huh? <laughs> It's a tape for uh, filming. Why does John have one? Did he film something? This might be a clue. Is there any way to check its contents? Uh, we have a uh, monitor to look over the footage that was filmed. Ah, uh, we can use that. Well now then, let's see what's on the tape. This is... It looks like when John was practicing. John was practicing by himself. The monster's footprints can be seen as well. So this must have been recorded last night. Uh, he does this sometimes. And he's not happy with his performance. I'll sneak on to that seat to practice my seal. Wow, he really is hardworking. He sure is. And though he's young, he's a real pro. Never rest until he's satisfied. Well then again, can't say that I approve of him using the equipment without asking. John is able to operate the equipment all by himself. 
Uh, more of this. It's just the basic filming. Huh? What's wrong? Something's happening. Why isn't John on the screen anymore? I think he ran off somewhere just a few seconds before this. Did he go somewhere while the camera was still recording? Rewind! The tape ends here. Looks like this was all that was recorded. No one else saw a camera except for John? The court last night shows John practicing by himself. Monta's footprint can be seen. Hmm, it's already half past 12. I wonder how Miss Courtney and the others are holding up. How long will they be able to prolong the trial? We gotta hurry and find John. Indeed. Aw, oh, heck no. That ain't how it's done. Hi, Lada. Oh my god, it's, uh, oh, this could be interesting. Yeah, I gotta catch the scoop like that. So sorry, Chief. What am I always telling you? We're beasts. Scoop eating animals. It's scoop or starve. No story, no glory. You gotta get it fired up. Yes, sir. As expected of my mentor. They're here. And those noisy reporters. Hey, they came here too? Come on, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's go talk to them. Good grief. If we must. The only good thing about having a lot around is I get that awesome music. I love that music. Quite a lot. Alright, let's let's talk Nicole first. I wanna I wanna not talk a lot if I can. Well, if it ain't Mr. Edgeworth, so we meet again. Miss Swift. Why are you here? You were set up as a suspect for the murder. Still, your involvement with the fake assassination plan remains a fact. You will have to submit to police questioning later. You should know that there's still a possibility you may be charged with some crime. So it looks like she got off. For some reason, my question was stopped all of a sudden. But after a while, it just let me out and told me I could go home scot-free. Well, that's interesting. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know the court system in this game. They're not the lenient type. Well, it must be some kind of message saying I need to keep on doing my best out there, I reckon. Well, they did give me a pretty stern warning not to reveal anything about the case. Ah. And that's why they probably bought her silence. In the official statement released to the public about the assassination attempt, Miss Swift was not involved. That must have been the reason why they let her go. But, Mr. Edgeworth, attempting to silence the cold like this? It's like trying to plug a leaky dam with your bare hands. <laughs> hmm, she was quick to say something so harsh. I quickly put together the full details of everything I knew about the case. Sprinkled in some of my own dramatizations and bought the article into publisher. But, uh, for some reason, I haven't gotten any replies yet. Were they pressured to keep quiet? Or were her dramatizations simply too much? Both are probable, so I'm not sure which is true. Collecting information. What information were you trying to collect here at the Grand Tower? Sageworth, I still don't get it, you do ya? If you want to ask a board a question, you gotta give us something first. Do you mean information that can be used in an article? Bingo! Give me some info that'll make for a good article. If you ain't gonna get something like that, I guess we won't be talking. I also need some information about John. Let's show her that piece of evidence and try asking her about him. Okay, well, I could go and show the exact piece of evidence. I'm not really sure which one it is, but go through everything first. At the moment, prosecutor presents his evidence, faintly shining, eh, uh, shining, um, um, ah, what did you just show me? Hmm, never mind. Looks like she doesn't know anything about it. Okay, we know what the, uh, it's probably going to be an evidence on the right. Uh, the second page. Well, you know me, I like to be as Thor as possible. 
Yeah, I'm being told means doing everything. Infiltrating a Danny Evil to cover a scoop with complete disregard for your own life. My mentor is really the greatest. Don't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, she must be talking about Miss Hart. Although I don't really want to comment, especially on that woman. Personally, I would prefer she didn't make so many rash decisions. Hmm, so in other words, she's good at making sap decisions? No, she's good at being annoying. Is there anything else? I'd also prefer she gather information properly. Instead of flattering people of status, and lying about it on the court as well. Hmm, so in other words, she's able to get lots of info from important people? Well, that's just what I would expect from my mentor. I would also prefer if you didn't take everything I say and turn it all around. <laughs> oh, I love this series. Oh, so much. Miss Swift, I'm sorry, but about this photo... You ain't gotta say it! I know exactly what's going on! Hmm? What do you mean? You're searching for him, aren't you? That boy! What? Things are still pretty tough for you, I see. Miles Edgeworth, the man of crime. Wherever he goes, their bodies are sure to follow. Who is he? Doctor Who all of a sudden? Uh, the season 9 Doctor Who. Or, not season 9. Uh, the ninth Doctor of Doctor Who. Uh, Christopher Ecclestein. You know, wherever he goes, death is going to follow. God, I wish he was... I wish he could... I, I wish he would have been the Doctor longer. That guy is such an amazing actor. And I love David Tennant too, and I like Matt Smith. But Ecclestein, if he had a couple of seasons, he would probably be people's favorite of all time. Or something like that. That's a terrible reputation to have. Who would have thought this time there'd be a kidnapping incident? She knows a lot, doesn't she? What? How did you know that? Shh, shh. Could you keep it down a little? This material is top secret. I ain't even told my mentor about it yet. Y'all gotta keep it a secret for me. If she finds out, I'll be a gunner. Why do you know? Judge Courtney should have only told us. <laughs> I ain't telling that to anyone. Not even you, Mr. Prosecutor. It seems this reporter still hasn't learned her lesson. Here, can give me the stink eye all you want. I still ain't telling. Okay, so we got something there. But I still want to check everything else. Do -do -do -do. Just scrolling through. Absolutely nothing. What are we playing after this game, though? And I just realized I don't know the answer to that question. I think we're going to be playing Your Turn to Die. Maybe the uh, the extra scenarios. I, I don't think the final chapter's out yet, but I was told there's extra stuff. Um, so we may do those scenarios. And then until the last Your Turn to Die comes out, I'll have to figure out something else to play. Uh, I probably need to go to my community poll that I was talking about a while back ago. Yeah, probably do. Top secret material. Did you know something about it? Truth is, I done saw it myself. A boy being taken away by a couple of men in black. Nicole witnessed John being taken away by some men in black, but we saw two men in black get in a taxi and they didn't have a boy with them. What? Where'd they go? Well, that, I don't know. They were too far away, so I lost sight of him. Darn it. But at least we know what the criminals look like. Yes, a pair of men in black. Hmm. Alright, the moment we've all been waiting for. What do you want? Oh my god. Can we not? Hiya, Snoop! And around again? That's my line. Like I said, at least I get the cool music. I love this music. It's really, really cool. Nicole Swift. Did Miss Swift call you her mentor just now? She sure did. Nicole is my number one pupil. She says she fell in love with the photos of my scoops. Even if our jobs are different, our passion for scoops is the same, let me tell you. Ever since then, she's been all cute like. 
Taught me stuff like master and chief. So she fell in love with Miss Hart's photos. I guess you could say, like teacher, like student. She still got a ways to go and got an information, but a passion to match her mind. Seems like she was trying to catch this guy oop about Mozilla's appearance. She's been circling around these parts all day long. Circling around this area? Maybe she witnessed the kidnapping. Mr. Edgeworth, looks like we'll need to hear what she has to say. Indeed, we need more information about John. Let's show Miss Swift that piece of evidence and ask her about him. Are you did. Your next scoop. Now that the black market auctions are over, what are you aiming for next? Ain't it obvious? The mighty Moozilla. I'm going out to that Moozilla. Who'd have thought that while I was staking out the black market auction at the Grand Tower, the mighty Moozilla's footprints would show up right next to the tower? Is there really a place I would publish a story like that? Don't treat me like a fool. I got one or two valley clients lined up. Actually, there's a newspaper company here at the Grand Tower. Me and Nicole go there all the time. Well, we always get turned away at the door, but still. I wouldn't exactly call that a valued client. Sorry, I love the music. Like I said, it's great. Hey, you! The guy with the ponytail! Yeah, I'm talking to you! Huh? You mean me? Why would you be something like that to your class? Well, um, this is a badge of the Atagratsu, and it's a great thief's. Well, that ain't what I'm asking. Even if it's wrapped in gold paper, won't your body heat melt it? Don't you get what I'm talking about? Chocolate. That big old piece of chocolate. <laughs> That's not chocolate. Didn't nobody teach you not to play with your food? My, my Mr. Edgeworth, what am I supposed to do? Okay, at times like these, just stay silent and wait for the storm to pass. Well, I guess the case of the black market auction was resolved thanks to me. Yes, obviously, thanks sir. Yeah, we should probably thank her as well, shouldn't we? Thank you so much. I fully recovered all my memories too. Huh? Your memories? Wait, you lost your memories? It would seem that it is her memories that are suspect. Let me just say, you're trying to grab my interest. Well, you gotta bring me something that actually smells like a scope. I guess this didn't catch her interest. Okay, so we have the, uh, oh, something new. Hey, heinous prosecutor, I'm telling you now, the mighty Moozilla is mine. I'm gonna go over this place with a fine tooth comb and find me every last clue. I won't miss even a single strand of fallen hair, not to mention its footprints. Fallen hair? You were searching for something like that? My well, Mr. Edgeworth, it's fine. You don't need to worry yet. Your father had a full head of hair after all. <laughs> Everyone's hair falls out a little bit at a time. Please have some more confidence. I wasn't worried about that. Why is she trying to cheer me up about it? Okay, nothing on the photo. I mean, I show a picture of the dead president's body. You think that would be a pretty big scoop? Nope. Nothing at all. She has a lot of different lines, though. It's like four different pieces of evidence that can trigger something, right? So that's really cool. Oh, I promise it's a lot of heart. Oh, five. Shucks, I may be a heck of social photographer, but after spending all the time hunkered down behind the statue, my back is killing me. Now that you mention it, you said you saw Mozilla from behind the statue, correct? I sure did! If and when Mozilla's existence comes to light, think of the huge impact it'll have on society. Well, well, that's the kind of stuff we special photographers always have on our minds. I guess there'll be a pretty big impact to society if Gordy was going to exist as well. You betcha! Same with the ancient aliens, the dragons, buried treasures, 
time machines, and split mediums. Oh, spirit mediums. Actually, spirit mediums do exist. We know that. Hey, social photographers got to cover everything that impacts society. Ain't it awesome? I mean, you should know that too. You, you've met her. Hasn't she? Wow, you got to be concerned with everything. You really are a friend of society. Yeah. Uh, let's get rid of that R and just say a fiend to society because I think that would be better. Okay, please don't take her seriously and please don't encourage her. <laughs> this is what he should be saying. <laughs> Okay, um, we've done everything, right? So, uh, what is next? Um, logic? That's not logic. Oh, okay. Oh man, there's a lot of pieces to put together here. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, cars that came through and the men in black. Oh, I'm an idiot. A, I need to choose men in black. And B, I missed the more obvious connection. Two men and men black. We've now collected some testimony regarding the culprits. Miss Swift says she saw two men slip away with John. Furthermore, the taxi driver says he picked up two men in his taxi. They must be the same guys. It seems likely, however, there is still a problem. According to the taxi driver, the two men were alone. John wasn't with them. That's right. I remember saying that. Yeah, you're right. That is a problem. Hmm. Aha, what if he was put in the box? Ah, aha. What if the kidnappers stole the box? Ah, you mean they? Exactly. They took an order to carry John inside it. John's a tiny kid after all. Then, the reason the taxi driver didn't see John was because it's likely he was put in the trunk as a kidnapper's luggage. But why did they need to go through all the trouble of hiding him? At first, the kidnappers must have intended to abduct him without being seen. However, they didn't anticipate all the policemen in the plaza. Ah, if they tried to just walk away with him, they would have been spotted. Just the mere presence of a policeman would have been a sizable threat. I get it. In that case, we gotta ask the taxi driver. Did the two men you told about earlier have any luggage with them? Uh, yeah. There's such a huge box in the trunk. Then that's that. Those guys must be the kidnappers. Do you remember where you took those two men? It sounds to me like something serious has gone down here. Well, if you like, I could take you to the same place I took them. Let's do it, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, thank you for your help. Uh, no problem, -o. just leave it to me. And investigation complete. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah, let's floor it. April 6, 12.57 p.m. and all the question marks. Ugh, that taxi drove way too fast. I don't feel too good. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth, are you all right? Your face is really pale. I'm... Fine. The driver said they came to this house's garage. This must be where those two men bought the box? Ah, Mr. Edgeworth, look at the nameplate on that door. Nameplate? What? Blaze the best? So this is the chairman's house. Does that mean the one who kidnapped John was Blaze the best? Blaze should have already been arrested, though. Ah, the garage door is unlocked. You really do have a good eye for this sort of thing. Well, you could have easily set this up, right? Oh, there's a box and it's open. It smells like motor oil. Maintaining that motorcycle must be Blaze's hobby. Why don't we get the police to come with us though? Because there are criminals here who kidnapped uh, 
John. They could be dangerous and armed, and we're walking right into them without any protection at all. Excuse me, we're coming in. Anybody home? Doing something like this is as if we're a couple of petty thieves. Shh, be quiet. Right now, we're great thieves. Have some self-awareness. <laughs> she scolded me. Nobody's here. For now, it looks like we can get through this without being arrested. This is the time to be relieved. Now the real deal begins. Let's go look for treasure. Although... Thinking about it... Maybe the reason they didn't tell the cops is because in order for the cops to come here, they would have to get a warrant. And... Edgeworth knows they don't have enough time to get a warrant because... Because they're, they're on the clock, right? We are looking for John, not treasure. Obvious thing first? Not so obvious thing first. Ah, I found something good. Those are cool gloves. Death. These are mechanic gloves. You wear them during you wear them during vehicle maintenance or when you're working with machinery. I like the the red and black skulls and the death ward maybe not so much, but I love the red and black colorizations. They look really stained with motor oil. However, they are also horribly stained with dirt. Could the gloves have gotten this dirty just from maintaining the bike? Hmm, I don't really like blades, but these gloves are pretty cool. Do you think we could uh, come up with some reason to take these gloves with us? When you say it like that, it makes it hard for me to take them as evidence. The Chaos Gloves. Some of these are heavy maintenance, heavy stained with dirt. This large box. This must be it. This is probably the box that Miss Powers said had been stolen. So John was stashed in this box and then transported all the way here? Please don't talk about people as if they are objects. However, if that's the case. There is also a possibility that John is still somewhere in this garage. Okay, let's go look for him. Our honor is a great thing for no assist to depend on it. Good grief. Okay. That was a boomerang up there. That's cool. There are large tools hanging on the walls, such as a sledgehammer and shovel. It's a lot bigger than the gavel Miss Courtney carries around. I don't know, that thing can extend really long. If I ever become a judge, I want my gavel to be this big. Swinging such a huge gavel in court would be intolerable. Please don't. Aww, then I'll just swing the shovel that's beneath it instead. <laughs> this has no business being swung in court or elsewhere. Please don't. Oh, um, what was that? Hmm. So there's someone inside. Inside of what? Uh, something just... Is it? The Kool-Aid man. I mean, John. I don't think we're gonna be that lucky. John, we're coming to save you. I didn't even get a chance to click on the bike. Eh? The, this is... Is it gonna be, uh, the best? Yep. I thought so. You're S Sebastian. What? Why? <laughs> this is Blaze's house, right? That would mean... Yes, it should also be Sebastian's house. So then why is he... Hey, Kay, go help him out. If it has to do with ropes, just leave it to Kay. Here I go. A little pull over here and a quick tug over there. Are you alright, Sebastian? He looks a little worse for wear. You think? Why were you tied up in a place like this? How should I know? You guys don't know anything about me. It's because we don't know. That's why we're asking you. Hmm. 
He's completely shut off his heart. Indeed. If it's come to this. I suppose I have no choice but to use that. Ah, you mean? I hate to do this when he's in such a fragile state. It's like kicking a man who's down. Will it be alright? His mind might break if you corner him too much, you know. Yes, I am aware of that. I will try to be careful. Good grief. I wonder how this will turn out. I've never held back against anyone before. Are we doing logic chess? Yep, we are. After running out of the meeting from this morning, why would he be here of all places? You guys, you don't know how I feel? Oh my god. He's gone through a lot of shock. He must be on the verge of an emotional meltdown. It can't be helped. Times like this, I must listen quietly to what he has to say. But I think that this is a good time to stop because I didn't know if I could save, but we're going on almost 50 plus minutes. Logic chess could take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. And I'll be back and we'll pick up with this uh, starting in the next day. Thank you for everything, my friends, number one YouTube community, all YouTube. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.